shopping centers here in the U.S. beginning to show signs of better times. CBRE Econometric Advisors is projecting a drop in available retail space from a peak of 13.2% in the second half of this year to 12.8% by the end of next year. CBRE Economist Abigail Marks joins us now with more on this story. Abigail, thank you so much. Welcome to Bloomberg News. Of course. Thank you very much, Mark. To Abigail, this news that we're getting today, uh, you say that the consumer recovery may have stalled, but it has not yet derailed. What metrics are you using to come to that conclusion? Well, we're using the metric of the retail sales um, brought to us by the census on a monthly basis. Um, we track these at Econometric Advisors and use these as a gauge to determine whether uh, consumers are coming back. And, and, you know, we are still seeing positive year-over-year -year growth in core retail sales. Um, is the recovery going to get a boost as we move into the holiday season? Is that critical right now? It is critical. We expect that um, it will be a bumpy ride heading up to the uh, the holiday shopping season of 2010, simply because consumers are not feeling um, great uh, about the economy. They seem to be going in waves. Sentiment um, is better than it was during the downturn. But as we head into the holiday shopping season, I think that we will see some more bumps, um, but that we do expect that the holiday shopping season will bring us some more growth. Abigail, talk to me about the uh, overriding factor here, and that, of course, would be jobs. If you don't have one, it's probably not going to be a good holiday season. If you do have one, your concerns are about job security. Talk to me about sentiment here. Well, sentiment has been something that we have been sort of tracking, and it's certainly been a driver for uh, demand for space, how retailers are performing um, through the downturn and um, heading into the recovery. But certainly, I think that consumers are, um, you know, looking at their, their jobs, looking at the jobs around them. And in certain markets, I think that the economy is such that they do feel like they can go out and start shopping again. Um, remember that it's, it's a lot about the discounters right now and right. about the daily necessity spending. Talk to me about the smaller markets. Are they going to be the drivers of, of what we perhaps could be seeing uh, later uh, retail space availability dropping? Yeah, I mean, over the next year going into 2011, um, we're really seeing uh, a lot of the smaller markets such as Charlotte, um, Austin, uh, Indianapolis. Again, we focus at Econometric Advisors on neighborhood and community centers, so those, those centers that depend on the daily necessities, um, they're anchored by drugstores, discounters. Um, so those, those smaller markets that, that have those neighborhood and community centers in the suburban era, areas are, are certainly going to be uh, helping the overall uh, retail industry move ahead and see a uh, declining availability rate over the next year. Do uh, any of your metrics involve the so-called mall crawl where you or some of your colleagues actually go into these places and, and gauge how, how business is going and the availability of retail space? Well, certainly, I think that you can't not recognize what's going on um, on the ground and um, see the retail traffic um, and, and incorporate that into your research. But we, we do get up-to-date data um, on a monthly and quarterly basis, so um, we are trying to stay on track and um, get the most out of the data that we have. And, and given this economic environment that we're in, I guess I'd be remiss if I didn't bring up delinquencies. Uh, talk to us about delinquencies on loans that are backed by retail properties. What are you seeing? Well, I mean, I probably would not be the best person to um, to answer that question. Um, you know, we do at Econometric Advisors tend to focus on um, the the retail fundamental side of things. Okay. Um, but I, I do I do feel that from what I have been hearing um, that delinquencies have uh, not been as much of a factor, um, you know, as they as they have been um, during the economic downturn. But certainly that is a potential worry going forward. All right. Abigail Marks, uh, CBRE Econometrics Advisors, joining us. Abigail, thanks so much. We appreciate it. Thank you very much.